party. Yeah. <laughs> and that was a night, a bad night. That was both a, of us. That was that a... Me and Liza just finished watching Love Island USA. Oh, yeah. And we were absolutely binging it. But yeah, I was just um, thinking back and reminiscing like we've actually been at uni for three years and we've had so many like experiences together. Hey guys, just a little preface before the video starts, just wanted to say this video has no structure to it, it's just a conversation between two best friends and we talk about uni, some landlord drama and a little bit of gossip. So that is the structure of this video so don't get confused if we skip from topic to topic but yeah, it's a nice little catch up and life update so let's get started with the video. Hey guys, I hope I'm in frame or whatever, but I'm joined with Tolly. Let me see. And yeah, so with Tolly, we're getting ready and yeah, you know, yeah. haven't gotten ready in a while, haven't gone out in a while because of Corona and stuff, but you know, it is what it is, you can't really complain or whatever. The last time we were out out was february 14th 2020 yeah <laughs> and that was a night a bad night that was the, that was that. a night to wait what happened to oh because well, i got locked I outside got Ill, yeah and i had to leave the club early leave the club and i couldn't make it to my room i threw up all over liza's bathroom <laughs> i'm pretty sure it went up the wall but um yeah it was it was about that and then um liza got home after and your key wasn't working yeah my key, her was key not just working. wasn't trying to open her door so i was just stranded with Tolini's friend out <laughs> so they were just outside and then i woke up to vo voice notes from Liza like <laughs> guys please i'm in distress i was and she was i crying. was crying i was close to tears i was like <laughs> guys <laughs> like I, it was fucking cold i was fast asleep didn't hear a thing yeah. apparently the no one heard a window. thing they were throwing branches throwing <laughs> at, on my single glazed window <laughs> i'm so yeah. shocked that it did not break no i was kind of yeah. worried when we were throwing um stones because i was like what did i was like one of these times it's just gonna be our luck that it's gonna break but luckily it didn't so we i feel like that our deposit the things we thought they would notice they didn't even notice but they were picking up on the most random thing yep like you literally nailed holes into the door Oh, they didn't even pick that up. They didn't give a heck. And I remember I was telling you, like, Liza, I don't They didn't give on. a heck. You busted down the doors. They didn't give a heck. What busted down what? That door. Oh, <laughs> but, no, basically, our landlord was so busted cheeky. Busted down the door. Our landlord was so cheeky. Basically, how our house works is that our front door was yeah, the entrance to house. Yeah, yeah we, was, we moved yeah, better than we that place. Upgraded. Upgraded. But <laughs> the entrance to our house was Liza's bedroom door <laughs> so we all had to go back through the alley to go into the garden door to get into our home and obviously liza only uses her front door why yeah. wouldn't she why would she it's only me that uses it and then we use the back door so i've come back from my lecture and the door was bolted from the inside and we were like how can someone bolt it from the inside when no one is in like it didn't make any sense like no sense so i was calling my landlord and i was like why is the door bolted someone's entered the house and they were like no someone must be in because it wasn't one of us and no one was in so i had to kick down the door period like i'm not me doors. standing outside the only person i could wait for was liza like she was the only person who would have had access to that house everyone else would have, would have been locked been out, in the yeah. same predicament because it was bolted from the inside and i was on campus for a um, scheduled long day yeah so i said you know what i'm kicking down the door and i did that period and yeah they didn't pick up on it but they picked up on the blue tack stains <laughs> and such random it, for things. me on my walls it was the blue tack stains that was yeah, it, which was ridiculous for a paint job just to do those those little 
I think they just wanted to suck out as much money as they could. They could definitely did because they charged us for colluding, which they shouldn't have. And like now I'm hearing that apparently they don't actually have the legal right to do they that. They don't. I knew they didn't. It was fishy because I kept on bringing it up to them. I was like, this is not okay. Like, it doesn't say this in the contract or whatever. And she was just ignoring me. She didn't give a rat's ass. <laughs> she didn't, she give, she a didn't rat's give a rat's ass what I had to say. Me and Liza just finished watching Love Island USA. Oh, yeah. And we were absolutely binging it. And... We just, some of the iconic lines in that show, we j I just can't stop saying it. Like, <laughs> Caleb said he couldn't give a rat's ass. I don't give a rat's ass what Lauren might have to say about anybody in the villa. Mackenzie was in distress. No, no it wasn't, it was Lauren, Lauren that was Lauren leaving. Lauren was in distress about to leave. She was making, well, she was making a fast. scene. She wasn't being. Making a scene, not going out, you know. She really went outside the way she left. It was really... You know. She went out so sad. No well, one cared. And then Caleb just goes, I don't give a rat's ass how she feels. And I said, period. Period, because she was doing a lot. She, she was, was doing, doing a lot. lot. What colour should I do the inside? Be gold. I think gold oh, would be yeah. nice. You know, I'm so me. boring with my eye look. I do the same. That I know suits me. I haven't what ventured out. I always do like... Like this one on the outside and then oh, this we have the same palette. Yeah, I've had this for a time. Look, it's even broken. I don't know. I don't know what I'm wearing yet, to be honest. Oh, but really? I mean, I have the. You know how you have the vision in your head, but you haven't actually tried it. So um, I hope it works out. I've got no vision, just vibes. Vibes. I've got options, but I just don't know. Especially if we're taking pictures, because I wanted to wear my other uh, silk top, silk vest oh. top. But my last Instagram picture was in an out in the same outfit, but just a different time. Oh, so right, like, yeah. Oh, do I wanna... You talked about uni briefly, but um, with me, I think I was very ex I was very on it for the first two weeks, and now I'm so over online lectures that I CBA. I really do. Like I was like enthusiastic about it and stuff like that, but when you're not going in and it's just no structure really it's just a bit mm. and like i have one module which is basically we have come to the conclusion that we are gonna teach that to ourselves because their that lecturer is so unserious um uh, it's just so bad but you know what one module is really on it so just the I one i think <laughs> just yeah, the one module is on it that that mo my organic module is so on it that then people they're doing it right. I don't even know how I feel anymore. I feel like, yeah, I've come to that same conclusion that I'm going to have to teach myself. Mm -hmm. but put, on the, like, put in a lot more effort than previous years. A thousand percent. I'm just not even aiming for higher this year anymore. Like, really? My, yeah. This is, this is your last year. You got to. I know. But, uh, hello. It's just so annoying, and even with graduate jobs, like I'm really about to graduate in a recession, in a pandemic. <laughs> um, I just don't even know what the future holds for me anymore. I'm very scared, and I'm just trying to stay calm. Yeah, I'm freaking out a bit, but you know what? Worst comes to worst. What is masters? Oh, <laughs> literally, I'm just, I'm literally only considering doing a masters for the sake of having one year. Yeah, to sort my life out a bit. I know what you mean. I'm happy that I have one more year after this because I couldn't imagine just like graduating now. Like I'll be, I, I don't know what, what, what's going on. Oh. Like. Neither do I. <laughs> Neither my stress is maybe to find like a summer internship this summer. Yeah, I plan on doing an internship this summer. Yeah. As in the summer just gone. Mm -hmm. And obviously they all got cancelled. So yeah. that's even more scary graduating in a um with no like experience and stuff like that. Yeah. I'm shitting myself. Cause I feel like if there's one thing that I can do is I think I should at least have one internship. Like I feel like it would be so bad if I have nothing to show for uni yeah. other than just my and degree. And chemistry as well, I feel like. I have to do something, yeah. What do I do next? 
that's me i feel like i forgot how i do my makeup now i'm on camera oh, i'm i'm, I'm like is this cute it's so cute oh it's very cute Thank this house is really nice so far yeah, it's really we love it so much more than oh all the house we were really suffering we were suffering we didn't even realize <laughs> we were so suffering but was it the house or wasn't no the house was so bad no 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 the house was so bad the house they was... could have done the work to it they couldn't they, they just did nothing. they did nothing like there's so many things think... wrong with that house that they just I, they'll just take our money that they took from our deposit and do nothing about it feed their pockets that's so true. yeah that's no, how landlords like, uni landlords um, are what is it like they made such a big fuss about the cleaning at the end of the tenancy but when i showed up at that house <laughs> at the start of my tenancy it was not clean no like, it really wasn't i was wiping down things and it was the just black. it was black wasn't it yeah my stuff so as well. i'm like do they do any cleaning like the money they took from our deposit then i don't think they to used to the... clean to get a professional cleaner because they lied. we because came... we said pro produce some receipts Re receipts were never done <laughs> Receipts were never made. I know, and even because I they they said, oh yeah, this is the cleaning company we use. I called them the hell up and was like, did you? And they were hella defensive. I was like, so y'all are in this together like, <laughs> to scam students. Like what a sad little them. life. What a sad little life, Jane. Dear Lord, what a sad little life, Jane. I don't even have a proper. Um, blush either i just be using oh i, I use, use my... the eyebrow, eyebrow oh, eye, eyeshadow palette i used that i used the james charles palette for my contour oh because <laughs> i don't have one yeah i, I feel like it's so fine to use eyeshadow sometimes the pigment on eyeshadow is way better than the actual products they're intended to be and i was saying like what's the difference between contour and bronzer oh like bronzer is way more warmer what does that mean? Like, it's got more orange shades while contours like purple shades. So it's like very cool and harsh. I thought bronzer was glittery. You could get some glittery oh, ones. Oh, do they not all have glitter in it? Not all of them. Oh. Okay. Yeah, I only recently found out about that. Like, because I don't be that. So, when I got this they, one. Are you meant to use both, or can you use, like, if you're not using a concealer? Um, I can't tell you can use a bronzer or a I feel use like I personally, some people use both, or some people just use one or the other. Whatever suits your face, I guess. I want to try it. I don't know which one would make more sense because I still don't really know the difference. Wait, let me you. add but a bit of this to be a bit. Right, what do I do harsh. now? I'd be forgetting my steps. My, my face a little spritz. I love a little spritz. Just before, I don't know how I was walking out without setting my face with a with a spray. That's criminal of me. <laughs> criminal. I can't believe oh. I did that. Oh, what is going on? Do you know what is really weird about this neighborhood? Why are they doing fireworks at 2 Oh my god, they do fireworks every day. And it's like, if it was November, I would be like, okay, like bonfire night it's is on its even way. Like, it's, it's like, save them for November. Why are you using them? It's not even happened yet, babe. Like, slow down. There's no occasion. There's nothing going on. <laughs> I thought I was the only one. No, I wasn't even yeah, seeing I them. Was I was just hearing noises. Oh no, the thing is, I can. I can see them from my room. Oh, you can really see cute. them. Oh, oh, shame. I'm just getting sound effects with no show. <laughs> no, just the sound effects. <laughs> so sorry to you, girl. Oh, shame. But Liza saw the famous party or heard the famous party where they all got fired. I didn't even clock that that was the same party. I didn't put two and two together. And it was so funny because we were like, oh, yeah, they had a party. Like, it must be cool if we have one there. Like, they yeah, we wanted to have one so bad. And then the next day on the news, it was like, freak students get fined 10 <laughs> each. And we were like, 10 oh, okay. Oh my gosh, yeah. Like, I don't even, no adult has that on deck like that. <laughs> so students now, they're saying 10K, that's criminal. The government is crazy for that. They don't rate us. Like, I get to be honest, it is really bad for in parties and stuff like that, especially because they have symptoms, but it's like, 10K, 
like y'all couldn't do a little uh, yeah and then there's people that and then like, there's people community i would rather do community <laughs> service and pick up trash on the ground yeah than pay 10k but yeah this house is much nicer much close to uni as well oh yeah it's not that i have any <laughs> you don't have any contact hours but yeah the walk isn't bad to you yeah it's a shame like if we had this house when yeah, uni sure. was actually happening and it'll be so bliss you close to so stuff but to be honest i'm low-key glad because even when we were like looking at houses i was like i don't want somewhere because the thing is the closer you are to uni the less reliable the buses are and i would rather oh, right, yeah. get a bus in the morning than have to walk 20 minutes in the morning because i feel like i just wouldn't have attended oh <laughs> if i had a 9 a.m and i had to start waking up and walking in the cold i would not have attended i'm not gonna lie to you but um but yeah i don't even have anything on campus this year which is cr like i can't believe i'm paying 9k to be sitting at home every single day that's so bad in general like how are they still paying us full tuition for no, not me seeing a tweet saying like uni students are paying 9k for FaceTime and it's like But it's actually And it's so true. It's it, it, funny, like, uh, it's not even funny, like we're paying 9k for FaceTime. It's a damn shame. What can we do, eh? There's we actually nothing we can do. The thing is it's like why is it that the government needs to see us all protesting? Like they want us to have a bad time. Why can't you just use your own common sense to be like, you know what, we should probably reduce the price. It's like, because... Yeah, they should the do thing, a little bit like, reduction. The cost of uni is not just a randomly made up number. Like, they are pay they're, we're paying that cost based on all the other things, you know, that goes into our education or, or the experience. Like, but we don't get half of that anymore. So what are, any of it. what are we paying for? It's just because so we're actually using our own wi-fi so I'm like my own wi-fi my own <laughs> macbook it's not like they're even they're not even providing free, laptops at this point blah, blah, blah. like if they were giving us a macbook i'm like okay but they're not giving us nothing yeah i was even thinking i was saying this to my mom like what about the people that don't have laptops now they have to go out and buy laptops or whatever or if they just had an ipad and then yeah. their thing is not compatible with whatever the uni is providing they have to go out and buy this stuff like yep. it's just not, not functional it's not practical not making any sense it's so true even the lecturers like some of them if they don't have mics Ugh, the sound quality is just been mm. abysmal. Wow, Look. I did that first time. Oh, that's a nice lash! Oh my god, <laughs> I'm getting that's better. pretty. That's a pretty lash. That is so pretty. Oh that's my god, so look at you. So all I needed to do was just buy a duo lash glue. Yeah, because I've been trying to use that one in the box. No, and that you don't work. Sis, why? Why are you do that to yourself? <laughs> not the one know. in the box that I comes with the lash. Oh, that shit does not hold down. Nothing. No, duo lash glue is really good. Yeah, which one is this? This is the. Where did it go? I, I have the black one. This is the oh, quick I don't set have that. strip lash adhesive dark tone. It's like a bit, It's like a navy blue. Oh, it's like a silicone applicator. Interesting. That's really nice. But yeah, I was just um thinking back and reminiscing. Like we've actually been at uni for three years, and we've had so many like experiences together. Like it's been oh. funny. It's been a good time. It's a shame that this is how we're going out, but um, we've had a lot of good memories. We've had a good us. time. Like. Who would have thought that us two being in the same flat, we would have continued the friendship? Okay. I can't lie, I feel like I can't do my lashes off camera. You think? Yeah. You don't feel so when the teacher, when the learner, the student became the master? No, no, I feel like I need to catch up. It's so annoying because it's like, every time I go out, I just do my lips when I get there at this point. I do my lip liner. And then I fill it in with my gloss when I get there because like oh, I really, really we have to wear a mask in the cab. Oh right. So it's like by the time we arrive, the makeup will be on the mask. I hate that. So I know it's I like do. a minor issue, but it's so. Jarring. It's really not that big an issue, like you know. It's, it's not. It's so 
price to pay but it's just like another inconvenience yeah though. that's the word i just want to be ready and especially like we can't even like what if i want to take pictures before i leave now i gotta put on the glass knowing damn well it's about to be on my mask it's just just gotta firm it it's just annoying that's what i look i look yeah, it's my my go to. I it feel so I feel such a waste that I have my James Charles palette but I don't use it like that anymore. Why don't you use it? I don't know, I just don't be thinking of looks to be doing. I'm not a creative person anymore. No, it's called even like neutral tone because that's what I used. I just love the James Charles palette because it's just got everything. It's got everything you need. Everything you need. Like especially me not really being a makeup gal, like this is the only palette I'll ever need because there's not really any point in me having any other palettes. No, really and truly. But this one I just stole from my mother. No, I bought this one, but this was before I had the same child one. But yeah, until that's finished, I don't feel like I need to buy another palette. I love it. Yeah, I need to... What is that? Uh, the Benefit one. Um... Bad gal bang. I feel like because I'm not a makeup, I'm not really a makeup fanatic. Mm. I'm very like, yeah. Oh, that's, that's what I forgot. Like, some blush. I don't really know what's good and what's bad. I think I'm more of a clothes kind of gal. I'm more into clothes and makeup. Ooh. Speaking of clothes, I just want to shop. But I told myself I'm not going to buy. I told myself, okay, every for every new item I buy, I've got to sell something. Oh, right. But um, uh, I have nothing to sell, <laughs> <laughs> but everything to buy. So Girl. it's a bit peak. And I'm so dumb because I went and left all my clothes that I have on my Depot. Oh, at home. home. And it's yeah, like, I did that as well. Someone was messaging me like, ah, is this available? And I was like, oh, um, no. I'll give you a discount if you can wait a couple of days. And she added me. <laughs> I was like, I guess not. You know what? People on Depot are ruthless. Oh, they are ruthless. They're like, I got stuff to do. I got a, 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 a rave to go to. Oh, and I need that to I need enough that. <laughs> to buy a Hollister shirt. I need that that top for the rave this weekend. <gasps> it's like when when um I sold something on there, they were like, Oh, is the is the stuff shipped yet? Like I I need yeah. it. I'm like uh don't worry you know, sweetheart i'm such a rookie at this depot thing because me being I me am. i went and sold my air forces yeah i had some air forces for 20 pounds when they like broke up they were very old and very um creased fairs, and stuff. Fairs, fairs. But you could have sold it, it for 30. that wasn't even the issue and you know what the thing with these cheeky people on Depop, they'll still be like, is that the lowest you can go? Hand? No, like, they can bargain. They can like, bargain. Girl, it's 20 pounds. Like, how They much? can. It's the hun and the ex But you know me. what it is? <laughs> <laughs> Do you know what it is? They it hunt you to death. The price was not the problem. I now get to the place where I've never, I've never sold it. Oh, right, right, right. So now I've spent a good, how much was it? It should a be like three pounds. No, it's a whole box. So oh, for a box now. The biggest envelope to put in and like mm. weighing it, it was like 12 pounds, please. I was like, not half my profits gone. What? Really? I was like, crap. Wait, let me think how I my brother myself. does it. Because my brother be selling shoes on Depop and his but shipping stuff. Them a lot. Yeah, oh, but his, his shipping stuff is like six pounds to track it. I don't think he weighs it, you know. I don't think they'd be doing that. Because right. he'd be doing, like, quick delivery tracked for £6 shipping that he has to pay. You're not doing international, babe, for no, you to be spending £12. Like, somewhere in this country. I don't know. What no, I mean, they shouldn't have charged you that much. Let me think. Oh, well, I don't know. Anything. But I was like, well, I guess I'm not selling shoes anymore. <laughs> or if I am, I'm selling them at least 25 30 because that was just... The biggest slap in the face. I was so excited to get my first sale, making my own hard earned money, <laughs> only to make eight pound profit. I said, wow. Yeah, we finished our makeup, so we look cute or whatever. As regardless, my finger keeps on sticking. No way. 
my lash keeps on sticking to my my lid yeah so we finished our get ready with me you know this is our final look so hope you guys enjoyed this chit chat get ready with us and i'll see you in my next video bye, bye.